My hair has been a lot of things, but it has never been this one. That was the point when I knew something was wrong. And then the back. My hair was damaged. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Tinola right here. I'm an Nigerian content creator based here in Toronto, Ontario and I share great content. So please consider subscribing down below by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it so you don't miss out whenever I release a new video, which is weekly. I'm doing this video to give you guys an in-depth update with my hair. Some of you that have watched my past videos and have been subscribed to my channel for a few years now, you, you most likely have seen some of my hair videos and you know that I have a natural 4C hair. Now, recently I decided to change my hair texture. I wanted to change it from natural 4C to something with loser curls. So I went to the salon to get my hair done. Now, before I jump into that salon visit and what actually went wrong, I'm just gonna give a general background information about my hair. Growing up, my hair was always relaxed. I never wore my natural hair as a child because my natural hair was the typical strong, hard, difficult, natural, forcey hair that you know, when children have that type of hair texture, it gets so painful for them to make their hair. And as a Nigerian, you know, you change your hair frequently. And for a lot of Nigerian mothers that had children with tough, natural hair, they decided to relax the hair. That was the only way they could take care of the hair. There wasn't so much information as we have nowadays about maintaining or taking care of natural 4C hair. For most part, my relaxed hair wasn't too bad um, up until my late teenage years when I decided to go natural. That was when this old team natural was out and everyone was super excited about exploring their natural hair, wearing their natural hair in different styles. And I was plugged in. I was super excited to go on that natural hair journey. So I cut my relaxed hair. I went natural and after a couple of months I relaxed my hair again because my mom felt like it was too hard for me to maintain natural hair and she was right it was really difficult for me to maintain my natural hair but I was determined I wanted to get this right I wanted to be natural so badly <laughs> I transitioned back to natural hair. As of 2014, my hair went all back to natural hair. So now, my natural hair was doing well at this point. It started well, it was doing well, even up until I came to Canada. Early on in my natural days, I was in a more tropical environment and I feel like that helped my hair to grow well up until when I came into this cold, climate anyway up until this year i would say for most part my natural hair looked great it looked healthy it was full it was black but the only problem was maintaining it i would spend hours trying to style my hair trying to make it look beautiful make it look sleek trying different hairstyles and hair treatments i tried different hair products and decided to stick to mostly the natural hair products. You know, all these things that natural hair girls do, I did them. And for so long, I kept on trying to figure out my hair. Most people would tell me, Tino, cut your hair or relax your hair. This hair is too strong. It's too difficult for you to maintain. And it was coming from a good place. They felt like I was punishing myself going natural because people that know me in person, they know how tough my hair is. But I was determined. I wanted to, you know, get it right. I wanted my natural hair to blossom like a flower. That being said, up until last year, I was still dedicated to my natural hair care. You do all the mask treatment, the onion treatment, the protein treatment. I did different hairstyles. But then 2021 came, okay? 
and I got fed up. I was tired of the amount of investment I had to put into my hair. Not even the financial investment of getting all sort of products or trying out different natural treatments, but mostly the time investment. I wanted something that was very practical for me, something that I would just brush, something I can sleep off on the bed with, even when I don't remember to put on my satin scarf or use a satin pillow, I should be fine, or use a satin bonnet. You know, I just wanted something really free because I love to just have my hair free. Something I could style within a couple of minutes and would look okay, and I could go out with it without doing too much. The only hairstyles I could do as a natural that wasn't so time consuming was my afro, to just wear my hair in afro or to wear it in a bun. But as you know, African women, black women, I, I've been Niger babe. I want to change things up. Sometimes I'll do braids. Now, when you do braids as natural, your braids is literally going to start looking old within a week to two. At least for me, that was the case. So it's like you do braids, it doesn't last long. Then you have your natural hair and you're still spending so much time taking, taking care of it. All that being said, I have nothing against natural hair and I actually still love my natural hair and love being natural and kudos to every other person out there that is able to wear their natural hair beautifully well and they are, and they are doing well maintaining it but i just felt like 2021 was the year where i needed alternative solutions to my natural hair something easier for me to maintain i would go online to see things i could do to my natural hair to make it softer and basically what i discovered was I had this low porosity, fussy hair with very tight curls. My hair was usually very dry. If I don't, if I don't moisturize my hair within three days, to be really dry, it will break a lot. So I was having length retention issues, but the hair was full. It was always full. I'm a very hairy person, so I've always had hair. The popular alternatives I got online were to either relax my hair or to texturize my hair or to do dry perm or jerry curl so these are the common alternatives that natural hair people go with now i didn't want to go back to relaxing my hair immediately i felt like i knew what my hair was like when i was relaxing it and i did not just want to jump back into relaxing my hair i wanted to try something new i wanted to try something else something new that would still kind of leave my hair in its semi-natural state <laughs> Something I could get away with, you know, and still look fabulous and I could still wear my hair out. I just wanted something that would make my curls looser because I felt if my curls were looser, it would reduce the tangling, the dryness and the breakage. Anyway, I decided to go with Jerry Curls because I really liked the results that I saw online. Unfortunately, Jerry Curls is not something they really do here in Canada in the salons anymore. In fact, it's the style that used to reign when our mothers were in their teenage and youth days and they were rocking. <laughs> you know, it's an old style basically. People don't like doing jerry curls anymore. The other alternative I thought of was to texturize my hair. I texturized my hair in the past and there wasn't much difference. Like you guys have seen my texturizer videos. If you guys haven't seen it, you can check them out. Texturizer wasn't the solution. I was still having issues with moisture retaining moisture in my hair. My hair was really getting dry. And I feel like if I gave my hair more attention, more time, like I used to do in the past, it would have been better. It would have been fine. 2021 is the year where I just want a simple and fast hair care routine. And that simple and fast was almost non-existential for the kind of hair texture I had. But so after a couple of months, texturizing my hair and my hair went back to its natural dry state. I was just packing it in a bun. I was fed up. I did some other hairstyles and afterwards I decided, you know what, I'm going to have to do jerry curls. At this point, I was looking for salons to do the jerry curls. I couldn't get anyone. Fortunately, a colleague at work did exactly the kind of hairstyle that I wanted. So I contacted a hairdresser that I wanted jerry curls. She said it was fine, she could do it. I told her I wanted it to turn out like my colleague's own because hers was perfect. That was the exact kind of hair I wanted. I booked an appointment with her hairdresser and then I went. I went to the salon just right after I finished from work on this faithful day in August. Ended up spending almost five hours 
in the salon because the hairstyle that I did was time consuming. But it was fine by me because a professional was doing my hair, that's one. Two, I'm gonna get the result I want. I was fine, I was cool. There was a time the chemical stayed in my hair for about 45 minutes and then she had to add about 15 minutes extra or 20 minutes extra to my hair because she was like, damn, your hair is so dry. Your hair is so tough. I was like, oh my God, here we go again. My hair is not about to disgrace me. You must work. You must soften up. You must work. She added extra time to my hair with the chemical on because she was like, my hair is really, really tough. It was a time consuming process, but trust me, I was very excited. So after my hair was transformed into this new hair texture and she took out the rollers, she had to trim my hair because I had irregular lengths, especially the weaker ends. And while trimming my hair, I was asking questions like, oh, what about the moisturizer? What about the activator, the curl activator, you know? Because based on my knowledge from the videos that I've seen online, I thought, you know, for Jericho's, I need to start using a curl activator and some other product. So she said to me, why are you asking about curl activator? You keep asking about these products. This is not Jerry Curls, you know? And I was like, what? What did you just say? This was at the end of my visit. I was like, what did you just say? This is not Jerry Curls. <laughs> I told you specifically I wanted Jerry Curls. And she's like, no, no, it's not Jerry Curls. We don't do Jerry Curls anymore in the salons. We don't have Jerry Curl chemicals. And people don't even ask for it anymore because it smells, it makes your hair too wet, too moisturized. And most people just do dry perm, that this is dry perm. That was when I knew what dry perm was. So I was like, okay, is this the same thing you did for my colleague? Because I told you I wanted Jerry Curls and now you're just telling me you, you just did dry perm. So she's like, well, she did the same thing for my colleague. I was like, okay, fine by me. As long as it's the same thing and I'm going to get similar results, I'm okay with that. So I left the salon that day tired, but optimistic for this new hair journey that I'm about to embark on. But unfortunately, this was where the nightmare began. The second day after my hair salon visit, my hair was looking beautiful. I took lovely pictures. I was proud of myself. I was able to rock my hair in the simplest form. It was so easy. It was so soft. I put my comb through my hair and it went at once. No tangling. It was perfect. My hair was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. But while I was in the shower, I did notice a lot of my hair falling off. But in my mind, I was like, oh, this is some of the hair that was left from what she trimmed off yesterday. The next day, same thing happened. And days following, I kept on seeing my hair fall off. Now, at this point, I was only using natural hair products. The same natural hair products I was using before I changed my hair. Shea butter, castor oil, and sometimes I'll use dax. Occasionally, I would also use hair gel just to give the hair curl more definition. It wasn't just only falling off, but every time I wake up, 
and I check out my hair before I go into the shower, I would notice that my hair was sticking together like dreadlocks. That has never happened to me before. My hair has never stuck together like that before. And that was when I knew it was the problem. And I tried to detangle these dreadlocks or this, I don't even know what to call it, if it's lumps or a tangle that my hair had. Whenever I tried to detangle it, it wasn't the same kind of detangling. It was a situation where it would just fall off. It was breaking out and the rest of my hair too was pulling out. And this kept on for days, every single day. That <sighs> I was losing a lot of hair. And my friend saw my hair and I spoke to her about it. And she, she told me, you know what? You should contact the hairdresser. Tell her what's going on. And up until that time, I thought of contacting the hairdresser, but I was like, is there even any need? Maybe, let, me, let me just keep observing things. So I did message the hairdresser, told her what was going on with my hair, and she asked me, what products are you using on the hair? I said I'm using natural products that I was using way before, and nothing went wrong. And she's like, you shouldn't use natural hair products. I told you to get Wave Nouveau Moisturizing Finishing Lotion, the Leave-In Lotion. So I was like, yeah, I wanted to get it because I remember she told me in the salon, she's like, oh, you know what? All you need to put on your hair to maintain it is the Wave Nouveau Finishing Lotion. That's what you need to put. But then I couldn't get it that night from a salon. And it also wasn't in the beauty stores around me, the closest ones to me. It could have been in other beauty stores like Sally Beauty and other places. But I just wanted convenience and I went to Amazon to order it. It was going to take a couple of weeks. Even though I had Amazon Prime, it wasn't in Canada. So it was going to take a couple of weeks to get here. In the meantime, my hair was already a mess. And she told me, you can't keep using natural hair products for your chemical hair i was like okay maybe that makes sense she's like the natural hair products you're using is weighing down the hair and it's making them clump together i'm like mm, okay it doesn't really make sense to me but you're the pro maybe you're right let me give it a shot so i thought okay fine i would use this product and um hopefully i'll see improvements I did not see improvements. Before the product arrived, I ordered another leave-in hair conditioner so that I don't have to use any natural products. So I was using Aussie leave-in hair conditioner. My hair was quite moisturized. When it comes to moisture, when it comes to being able to brush my hair, it was really easy. But then there were these clumps of hair, like dreads, and there was still hair falling off. To cut the long story short, when my hair product arrived and I started using it my hair was still falling off to be fair I stopped getting clogged up hair there was no situation of my hair sticking together which I was really happy about and I felt this was you know the solution as I was hoping that very soon my hair would stop pulling out but then it was still pulling out it's still pulling out and that is what I've been dealing with for almost two months now every single day as i touch my hair it comes off it pulls out talk about texture this is the best texture of hair i've had so far which i am happy about practicality my hair is extremely practical for me right now which i'm grateful for but is my hair healthy no my hair pulled out so much that my entire hair at the back went off like i was bowed <laughs> I'm still bound. <laughs> it's bad. You don't understand. You can't imagine. My entire hair at the back, it went off. So the purpose of me changing my hair and wanting to be able to style it in its natural state outside and wear it outside was defeated. I couldn't wear my hair outside anymore because half of my hair was gone. It was gone. It was a nightmare. I could feel my scalp. And the funny part was, I couldn't really see it. I couldn't see how bad it was until I started to video my hair and to look at it through the camera because I couldn't believe it was that bad. It's almost two months now. 
and the bold part at the back is beginning to grow as you guys can see now I still have the front section even though it's <laughs> it's almost non-existent because if you guys know me from the past my hair is very full right now I only have few hair left in the front and then the back this is the back this is the back of my hair What is next is I refuse to cut my hair. Ideally, that is what I should have done. <clears throat> People have advised me to cut the entire hair. I've thought about cutting the entire hair just to make everything rhyme and to start on a fresh note. But at the same time, I'm not someone that looks really good on low cut. And it's just not my preference. Growing up, my dad used to say, Irole well bearing. That means a woman's beauty is her hair <laughs> and that kind of stuck with me up until this time i mean i'm not trying to say that people that have no hair or they are bald for whichever reason or are, or are low cut are not beautiful of course not but to me having your hair also adds to the beauty it's like you saying i'm beautiful without makeup but even with makeup i look more beautiful or equally beautiful whichever one is your take. So I've decided not to cut my hair, even though it looks messy, even though I never wear it out. When I'm going out, I use either a scarf, a cap, a hat, whatever I can put on my hair or a wig. I could cut my hair and get away with it since winter is coming, I'm going to be using wigs anyway. I was frustrated throughout. I was disappointed and I, I didn't bother contacting the hairdresser anymore because I felt like she couldn't really help at this point anymore. I don't know if it's her fault. I don't want to put the fault on anyone. I don't know if it's my fault or it just happened. You know, it doesn't matter whose fault it is. All I'm just after right now is my hair growing back into its healthy state because right now, unfortunately, my hair is damaged. What I'm hoping for is once my hair begins to grow back, because now it's already growing back, I can feel the natural ones growing out. Once everything gets to a reasonable length and almost all these damaged ones are out, I would um, trim it and um, start taking care of it again. And to be honest, guys, at this point, I don't know if I would go back to my full natural fussy hair or still do the same chemical hair because yeah my hair is damaged right now but i've seen people with this same hair that i did and it looks good and they're maintaining it well and it's not damaged even on youtube we have people with good hair, hair results so i don't know if i'm still going to give it a second try obviously like a year from now or i could just stick to my natural hair if i find a routine that works all that being said everybody's results is usually different I don't know why mine turned out to be like this maybe because I used the texturizer early on in the year months before then maybe it was just my hair maybe it was the time that you know we added to the chemical while it was still in my hair maybe maybe there are so many maybes I don't know what happened if you guys have had this similar experience or, or you have one or two knowledge about this situation, please let me know in the comment box below. I will be more than happy to hear your experience with this. Regardless of the case, I'm trying my best to rock my hair and I hope you all continue to feel beautiful in your skin, in your hair. And that will be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did add value to you, or you simply just enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to the channel and i will see you in my next one in the meantime keep your light shining bye guys click 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 click